morning, Tuesday 26, here from the old bridge, old bridge camping here. We're just uh, trying to get packed away now, nice and early. It was a bit cold this morning, it's a surprise for this place, but now the sun's come out and it's heating up quite nicely. But uh, this should be our last day on the bikes if we get to Migra today, that was the plan. So uh, we just have to carry it up this mountain now. Uh, to the summit of 2,300 metres, now at 1,650. So we'll get up there, hopefully, get up there by lunchtime, and then it's downhill to the border. I have to cycle actually along the border for quite a distance. It uh, should be 13 kilometres up and then 27 downhill, something like that. So that's uh, see Then we should have two days resting there. Migri is the plan at the moment. So the tent's drying, and the uh, bikes are being loaded. Let's get on the road our last day today. Yes, let's get going. Okay, 8.30 in the morning. Just uh, crawling up the mountain here, but it's already hot already. It's good we set off early. It's so long. The sweat to start pouring out again. It's like a swimming pool wherever we stop. <laughs> you can see in front of us, that's where we actually have, have to cross, that's the summit, the top of there. And you can just see the road, so in an hour or so, we may be up there. It's a bit impossible to believe now, but it doesn't take long, yeah. and then you will be up there. Yeah. Ah, now we're at 2,030 metres, still crawling up the mountain quite nicely. And so far, haven't seen any other cars on this road today yet. So Jamie, not sure whether you're the only 11 year old boy that's ever climbed this mountain or cycled through Armenia, we don't know. If anybody knows of anybody else, let us know. Jamie could be the first. It is very hard, so it's quite impressive to do when you're 11. <laughs> Because it's not easy, really easy. As usual, and Jamie smells the summit, he's way out, way ahead. <laughs> oh, can't believe we're nearly close to the top. Should be the final, final climb in Armenia, real climb. But, uh, what a beautiful climb. Good we started early just to get away from the, the heat down there, it's cooling up here now, it's much better. But, uh, what a ride. I wonder what Jamie can see over there. Maybe there. Soon you can see a run. <laughs> you believe it now? What's on the other side? This is unreal. What a view. <laughs> Do it because you need to say to yourself, keep going. Keep going. Some of the wildest mountains we've seen on this trip so far. Okay, well, the best thing is only half past 10 in the morning. I thought if we just get here by 12 o'clock we'd be okay because it's downhill from here all the way to the Iranian border and we should be cycling next to a river following the border all the way to Migri. Uh, now after all the hard work of eight days on the road biking mountains and mountains time just to have a little bit of relaxation up here on the top of the mountain with some nice Formidas cafe yeah. that means late morning coffee in English yeah. so we just Enjoy the moment here now, look at the view. Okay, time to come down. 29 kilometers or something like that of downhill. It's gonna be a good ride. ride. Take it steady so we come safely down. That's the most important thing now. 
Pretty unbelievable to actually believe the view I'm looking at here. These mountains are just unbelievable. Look at that for a road, we have to go down there. That's just awesome. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> There's people here living here, just invited us in for coffee. <laughs> that would be nice. Looks like they're living in some kind of steel house. And bees here. Mom, I invited you for coffee here. Okay, I've actually found a place for uh, water. This is at 1930 meters. And this kind family here, they live here. And this shack here, they're making coffee for us. Amazing. <laughs> what do you have there, Jim? Webbed. Uh, <laughs> What's his name? Uh, name? Jamie? What is? Jaga. 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 This is each other, Jaga. That was a great coffee stop here. It's time to go down the hill. Bye bye. Adieu, <laughs> adieu. Well, that was a good place to stop there. A family waved us in and invited us in for a cup of coffee. <laughs> One of those great experiences, you just never know what's around the corner. Now it's time to carry on rolling down this huge mountain. Unbelievable to think we just come down from up there. That's where we had coffee, just with the family up there. Just a few minutes ago. Down here now. Down, not all the way down yet, still going down and down and down, but it's absolutely red hot on this side. I thought it was hot on the other side, this side is even hotter, <laughs> and the air is just so hot and warm and dry. It's uh, oh, I'm pleased we're going down and not up on this side. Yeah. Okay, now we're at 900 meters, but from, from here until where we had coffee, we haven't seen any places to get water. So, people heading up from Iran this way you have to make sure you've got enough water because uh, it's really hot. We run out of water on this hill and it's uh, hard work really. Very uh, dry on this side of the mountain. A huge difference compared to the other side which is basically like a huge forest. This is just dry, barren landscape here. Ah, first thing we've seen today on the road, a cow. Hi cow. How's it going? Okay. Oh, another one. Okay, straight ahead now. That's your run. Right in front of us. Okay, we have to follow this river now. This is actually the border between Iran and Armenia. We ran to our left of the river. Armenia here, where we're cycling. To follow this now to a town called Migri, that's where we're staying this evening. So, folks, that's a run to your left. What do you make of that? I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's too crazy. Is that actually the border or what? Yep. There's a border fence right there. There's two roads here. The one we're on is Armenia, the one over there, that's a run. And there's the border fence. It's got to be pretty tough going really to take this mountain in the opposite direction. Just spiked down 30 kilometers downhill and we only saw two places to get water and it is roasting hot. You see uh, watchtowers ahead now patrolling the border. Seen a few of those now on the road here. We have to stop filming now, you're not allowed to film near military bases with the same problem in uh, Turkey. Couldn't film anywhere where there was military, so I'll stop filming.
just like another world compared to where we were this morning. Okay, turn right now to Migri. I should try and find out bed and breakfast we booked. Oh, okay, that was a hard climb up to Migri. In this heat, that was the hardest route to climb. And I think the town's here. Two days rest ahead. Jimmy just got a bucket of water over his head. Extremely hot here. Better now? Yeah, I was, uh, my head was wound and I was dizzy. dizzy and really bad but there was a very kind man over there he he gave me some cold water over my head and so i feel a little bit bitter okay we made it to the bed and breakfast we was actually further than we thought uh, i've just spotted they've got hammocks in the garden that's where we're going to be staying for the next two days okay this is where we're going to be relaxing the next two days. What we actually need now, I think. Just had a nice cup of coffee there. I'll show you the room. That's the view is like this. Very much approved. Let's take your shoes off here before you go inside. Okay, let's go in the room and show you, Jamie. <laughs> In here. Oh, is that my bed? It could be, but this is giving you another bed. I'll show you. Oh, we're sleeping in here. Whoa. And then your bedroom is here. We've got a view of the mountains. That's your bed. So, we did it. Time to get the bags up in the room and just relax. Yeah, it's great. And have a shower. That'd be nice. Okay, we can also get uh, evening dinner here so we don't have to go anywhere. And that's exactly what we're doing because I don't think we've got the energy to go anywhere. No. So we just sit here now, enjoy the view, and just have a rest. Okay, so now we're here in Migri in our bed and breakfast. They just made a good dinner for us, but and uh, absolutely fantastic. But we're all exhausted, just these steps coming up here. Feels like hard work at the moment, but now it's getting nice and cool. Um, so the plan is tomorrow just to stay here. We've not got any plans of doing anything apart from resting. <laughs> so we've got two days now, today and tomorrow, and then uh, Friday we'll be crossing the border to Iran. So uh, yeah, that's it really. Now we're in Migri, so uh, we're going to have a rest now. Okay, see you tomorrow.